Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a few tricks uh, to do with tool palettes to help speed up your workflow and be more productive in general with your drawings. Let's get started. This is Tuesday. I'm gonna try and keep this around the two minute mark. Let's see if I can do it. So to start, we're gonna to wanna to turn on uh, tool palettes. If you don't use tool palettes uh, when you're doing your drawings, uh, I highly recommend it. You can uh, find a lot of helpful uh, tools and commands um, automatically and already set up for you. So along the top ribbon here, you're gonna to go to the view tab. You're gonna to hit tool palettes and it's gonna open up this uh, tool palette here. It may put it somewhere randomly, uh, depending on where you've left it last or if you've used it before. Uh, wherever it is, put it somewhere you like. I like to dock it to the right-hand side of my uh, screen. Uh, and you can see here all of the different tabs, and each of these are gonna contain uh, different blocks uh, different down here you can see there's different uh, leaders and text options and by clicking these it's gonna bring them into your drawing automatically so you can see here uh, if I click the imperial arrow it's just gonna bring that in uh, automatically into your drawing and you can see it's got a few options and drop downs they're all blocks that come built into AutoCAD uh, so these a lot of people don't use them they can be super helpful uh, and save you a lot of time. Let's see over here, different leaders, you can enter in tags. And you can see, depending on your scale and size, the tag has already been brought in and it's movable and customizable. So if you've never seen or used tool palettes before, hey, that's an extra tip in today's video. If you'd like, you can just call it a day. If not, and you're already used to tool palettes, this is where uh, this quick little trick will come in handy. So if you go over to your tool palette and right click on it, you can go customize palettes. And from here, we're gonna create a new tab on our tool palette. So on the left here, we're just gonna right click and say new palette. And we're gonna say whatever you'd like. You can call this Bob's custom palette, or you can just call it custom palette. Uh, I'll call it CAD intentions. All right, so when you hit enter, you're gonna see this blank tab on the tool palette on the right here. You can move it up and down wherever you'd like it to go, and you can see it moves over here. When you're done, you can hit close. So this is where we're gonna make our own custom palette uh, based on commands and text and whatever you use often. Uh, in our example, I'm going to show you how to quickly uh, add in some a leader, a piece of text, and a block. Uh, you can get way more in-depth on this. I'll provide some links below for more information. Uh, but this is the basics of how to really easily and quickly uh, add things to your tool palette. So to start, we're going to add in a default text. So say you have an mText object that you use quite often, you may want to add this to a tool palette so you can simply click it and place it in every bedroom in this case. Or not even a bedroom, it could just be your standard room text if you're doing uh, layout plans or detail text if you're doing uh, mechanical design. So to add it to your tool palette, we're just going to select it and you can simply click and hold and drag your text onto the palette. You can see it's been added here and now we're going to customize it a little bit so you're going to right click on it go to properties you can give it a name you can call it typical room text and if you use specific scales you could say uh, 1.5 millimeters or two inch or one eighth inch whatever you're using if you're using imperial or metric or if you're just using a specific uh, text style uh, you can add the name of that. I'm using my textile B in this case. And you can change any settings here, 
But the benefit of dragging and dropping an item into your layout or into your tool palette is that it keeps all of the properties from the object that you drag in. So what I like to do is if there's something I'm using a lot in a drawing or in a bunch of drawings, I'll take one that's already set up like this bedroom one, which is already on my text layer. It already has the size and color assigned for the scale of drawing and what I'm doing. And I can just drop that into the tool palette. It keeps all of those and saves them. So when I hit OK, it's now updated the name to typical room text. So now that I've got my new button over here, I can simply click it to activate it and insert a new M text wherever I like, keeping all of the styles and settings from the text I used before. This will help you save a ton of time when you're uh, creating drawings, especially if you want your drawings to look similar uh, throughout a project or throughout your company. Setting up custom tool palettes with all of your standards is a huge time saver. So I'm going to quickly add in this one here. So I selected my leader, I'm clicking and holding, and I'm just going to drag it over to the right. Again, you can customize the name. So there we've got typical leader. It's going to use all of the same settings as the one I've got set up here. And then you can do the same with a block. So I've got a door block here. You can simply select it, drag it into your tool palette. And now every time you click on your door block, it's going to allow you to insert it and it's going to automatically add it to the layer that your original block was on. Setting up these tool palettes help you save a ton of time. They help you keep everything look, looking the same between drawings and can help with consistency and standards throughout your projects. Uh, so yeah, that's how you can quickly and easily set up a custom tool palette using objects, text, lines. Uh, it works for lines, layers, and line types as well. Um, and that's how you can do it quickly and easily. Uh, you can also spruce up your tool palette by right clicking and adding text for labels. Maybe you want to call this section blocks and add in a separator. We'll put the text below and then just add all of your blocks below that. Then maybe do one for your text and then maybe line types. Uh, you can also pull uh, objects hatches, anything from existing tool palettes and put them into your custom just for ease of use. That way you can just keep one palette open while you're doing the majority of your drawing uh, and using it for all the most common things. Hopefully you guys learned something. If you liked this, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and leave a comment below uh, letting me know what kind of things you'd like me to go into more depth on or what other uh, quick tips or tutorials you'd like to see on the channel. As always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here. Make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.